So far we've looked at strings, integers and doubles. But a fourth data type has snuck in, perhaps without you even realizing it. It's called a Boolean, which stores a simple true or false value and nothing more. If you are curious, it's named after the English mathematician George Boole, who spent a very long time thinking about, researching and writing about logic. Now, I say Boolean snuck in because you've seen them in code like this. Let filename equals paris.jpg, print filename has suffix .jpg. Or in code like this. Let number equals 120, print number is multiple of 3. Both has suffix and is multiple of return a new value based on their check. Either the string has suffix .jpg or it doesn't. There's no in between. Either the number is a multiple of three or it doesn't. It's just a simple true or false answer and that's where Booleans come in. They store just true or false and nothing else. Now making a Boolean is just like making the other types of data we've seen so far except you should assign either true or false as your initial value. For example, you might say, I want to have a new Boolean, constant good dogs equals true, because my dogs are literally in the room with me right now, waiting for a treat, because they are very good dogs. <laughs> Come on, you two. Come on. Work for it. Stretch. Good dog. <laughs> they are good dogs, really. You could do let good dogs equal true, or let game over equals false. You can also assign a boolean's initial value based on some other code, as long as ultimately it's either true or false. For example, let is multiple equals 120 dot is multiple of 3. Now, unlike the other types of data, double and integer, booleans don't have arithmetic operators such as plus or minus or similar. After all, what would true plus true be? It just makes no sense. However, Booleans do have one operator that's very useful, which is an exclamation mark. It means not. It flips a Boolean, so true is false, and false becomes true. For example, we could flip a Boolean's value like this. Var is authenticated equals false, and then is authenticated equals exclamation mark not is authenticated. So it started out false, we're flipping it to be true. So if I print out is authenticated here, we already have print for the first two. It should print a third true down here. There we go. I can flip it again. I'll do uh, copy and paste this line here. And again, print is authenticated. And now it'll be false. Boom. It flips it between true and false. Booleans do have a little bit of extra functionality that can be useful. For example, uh, you can call toggle on a boolean and it will flip from true to false just like not is doing here so i have uh, game over here as a constant i could have made it a variable game over and then said print game over and then call game over dot toggle to flip it around from false to true and then printed game over again and that'll print false first because it started out as false but after calling toggle it'll be true Yes, it is the same as using the exclamation mark for not, just in slightly less code, but trust me, it's actually surprisingly useful when dealing with complex numbers. You are very good dogs, both of you. You are, come on. This is your last treat though. These, honestly, you get so many treats from me. You're gonna get tubby. Come on, come on. Let, let sister up, please. Come on, one, two. Yeah, you good dogs.